Hey, it's Gavin here. I hope you're well this morning. It is early doors here in the UK. It is, well, just past six o'clock in the morning. But I've got my in-laws here. The kids are in bed. They're off school. Wife's up in bed still. So I wanted to get down here, do a quick workout, stick it on Facebook Live so you can do it with me. Now, I'm not sure who's going to be watching this right now, but give me some likes. Give me some love. Let me know where you're from in the comments section below. And if those comments start popping up and you're doing the workout, swipe to the side, get rid of them, just so you can see what I'm doing and make sure you're paying attention to the technique. Now, this morning we've got a full body workout, something that's gonna work quite nicely after the holiday period. I know there's gonna be tons of chocolates that have been eaten and all sorts of drinks and stuff like that. I mean, I'm looking around me and there's chocolates everywhere behind the camera. <laughs> so I'm pretty sure that's what it's gonna be like at you for home as well. So if you're ready, we're gonna go 50 seconds of work, 10 seconds rest. Only going to do 10 minutes. So it's a quick 10 minutes just to get you back in the game, get you back into the, this fitness malarkey and get your body ready for the new year. You ready for this? Ready for action? We're going to kick things off in 10 seconds. So stance jacks is the first one we're going to do. Stance jacks. So stance jacks looks like this. Feet together. We hop to the side. We reach down. Stick the butt out. Hop back in. So switching hands as we change. And that's what we're looking for. Okay. So 50 seconds. Let's do this. From the side looks like this. Back straight. Nice and controlled, avoiding the ugly hunchback position. Hop and drop, sticking your butt out, and let's get cracking with this one. Hey, let's go for this now. Now, if you're struggling with this little bounce, I know there's some people that don't like the impact exercises, and this is quite low impact, but even if you're struggling with this one, just step to the side, reach, step, reach, step, reach, and just speed it up. So you're looking to try and get that heart rate up. Let's see what we can do this morning. Now, if you're watching this later on, make sure you save the video. And if you're doing this now, save the video. Get a nice little collection of my follow-along routines that you can do anytime. And just come back to Facebook and find your saved videos. And then you've got a little collection there. All right, we've got 10 seconds rest. Next up, we're going to go cross-body mountain climbers. Now, if you can't do it on the ground, I recommend a chair, table, coffee table, something like that. When you're in this position, we're going to... Bring the knee across to the elbow. Easy peasy. I'm gonna go down to the ground. So come and join me. A little switch up on my mat. And there we go. Trying to keep a straight line, hands under the shoulders. Now these first couple of exercises are kind of warm up exercises. It's getting the body into the mix. Get the heart rate up. Get your breathing that little bit heavier. So here we go. Control the breathing. We've got 15 seconds left on the clock here. Good pace. But if there's any point you're struggling and you need to stop, give yourself a few seconds rest. And I recommend giving yourself a countdown in your head. So just up to three, one, two, three, and you join back in. Boom, there you go. All right, that 10 second rest. Next up, a couple of, combo, well, a couple of options. We've got static lunge. I just want you to do five each side. Right angles, so we're down, up, down, up. Switch legs, or we're here, switching it up. But again, as you step out, make sure that front knee isn't leaning forward. Right angles. And if you're a bit more advanced, you can do the jumping lunges as well. So your jumping lunges are these ones. Hop and drop. Again, trying to make sure that front knee doesn't fly forward. So I'm gonna stick with this one for now. Looking to work that a little bit harder. Let's go. Feel those legs warming up. Now hopefully those that are just tuning in are not looking at this one thinking, oh my God, I can't do that. So remember, you got your options. All right, here we go. I'm gonna have a quick look over here. We've got 10 seconds. What's going on? Yeah, I'm not sure who's gonna be watching this now. We've been six in the morning and everyone else across the pond still asleep. All right, press ups. Again, table, chair, kitchen side. If you struggle with this one, we're down. Breathe it out, straight line through the body. So the higher your chair or table, the easier it becomes. Of course, you can do them on the knees, but personally, I don't recommend that. So you need to let your core learn what it should be doing. When you're doing on your knees, your core 
never learns what it should be doing. And so you never get really any better. Because a big component of the press up or the push up if you're across the pond, is making sure your core knows what it's doing. And if you can't activate the core properly, you're not gonna be able to do it. I'm gonna give you one more sort of busy chatting through that one. Now, if you hear me talking, doesn't mean you have to stop, okay? You can carry on and just listen to what I'm saying. Just giving you little technique cues. All right, next up, we've got frog hops, which are these ones. So this little spring up off the ground. If you can't do that, what I want you to do is just a quick, kind of, kind of a quarter squat. So we're not going all the way down into the squat. I'm gonna start my timer again there. Again, chatting too much. So, working the front of the thighs. Now, I'm barely getting off the ground here, but it's quick, and I'll show you from the side. I'm not going lower into the squat. Just that little spring. If you're not doing the jump, all it is, is this. So we're trying to keep it quick. Trying to burn up those thighs a little bit. Let's keep pushing. Certainly getting warm now. Coming up to the halfway mark. Now we're going to give you a little breather, or well, especially give the legs a breather after this one. We've got 10 seconds. Come on, stay strong. Get off the ground. Come on. You got this. There we go. All right, next up, tricep dips. So we're down. Again, going to need a chair for this one. Hands, fat shoulder width apart. Let's go. Butt close to the edge, dropping down. Lift up, squeeze the back of those arms. So down, squeeze, down, squeeze. If that's too easy, walk them out, squeeze. Again, always keeping your butt close to the edge of the table, the chair, the bench. Breathe out as you come to the top. And here we go. Go control. Not rushing it. Try and get your heart rate under control. Not long now, eight seconds to go. Keep strong, keep pushing. We got this. Last couple of reps. There we go. All right, this time squat pulls. So we're back on the legs. Trying to keep the heart rate up. Now you might even notice I'm going upper body, lower body, especially on this second half of this workout. So staying low, and you're just gonna bounce with me. So stay low, strong. Chest up, looking forward, head up, looking forward. Chin drops, guess what happens? You end up doing this. That's no good, looks horrible. So head up, chest out. Imagine you've got your name on your chest and you want people to see it. So you gotta look up, open up the chest. Hands can be out in, in front. In terms of the balance, you want to make sure that you're sitting on the heels a little bit, not towards the toes. If you lean towards the toes, you're going to put pressure on the front of those knees. And you want to push those knees out slightly as well. So I'm low, I'm just bouncing. We've got a few more seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good job, check out those legs. All right, next up, lateral slides. I'm going to go from one side of the floor, whip it across to the other. That's the plan. So, let's go. We hop, reach down. Now, where you reach to depends on your flexibility. If you're a bit iffy with that flexibility, knee, mid chin, if you can touch the ground, great. But the key is to keep your head up again, back straight, and throw in a bit of pace. Now, ideally, I'd like a longer landing strip here, but this is what we've got. So I'm dealing with it. This is real world. The house behind you is a mess. So we're sticking with it here. Come on, push yourself now. I ain't got long left for this workout. So stay strong. Come on, digging in. See if you can keep up with me. I'll go faster if you can. Nice job there. All right, we're down to the ground. We're gonna go bicycles. 
It's a little bit of core. All right, so we're here, long legs. We change, lift the shoulder and rotate. Let's go. The higher you go, the easier it is to keep your back pushed down. The lower you go, the harder it is. Keep those abs pulled in and your back pushed down towards the ground, that lower back I'm talking about. Control the breathing. We're looking good. Just over 20 seconds to go. And one more exercise, just one more. Come on, dig deep. You can do this. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. All right, one more to go. Last one. And you know what it is? Burpees. But don't be scared. A couple of modifications. You've got the walkout burpee. Hands down, step, step, back in, up, clap. And you don't even need to do the jump. And if you're really struggling, hands on a chair, you can still do the walkout like that. So it's always an option. All right, we're gonna go a full minute on this one, especially for my chat in there. So are you ready? Let's do this. Here we go, hands down, hop it back. We're jumping up. Trying to go full extension of the legs. So all the way out, straight. So in that high plank position, back up and in. So knees to elbows every time. And if you're doing the walkout version, same thing, full extension, all the way out. Looking for a big finish from you now. No holding back. I want to make sure this 10 minutes is worth it. If you're up early with me, then you definitely got to make sure it's worth it. Come on. Keep banging them out. We're not far off the end. <clears throat> Legs are burning up a little bit. 10 seconds. Come on, big finish, big finish. Come on. Last one. Woo. Nicely done. All right, so I'm feeling a little bit. Woo. Well, great job there. Hope you enjoyed that. Now, if you know anybody that's looking to get in shape in the new year, wants to lose a little bit of this, and make sure you share this video, tell your friends, family, and come and join me on the next one, okay? Now for now, I'm just gonna throw in a little stretch. Try and cool it down a little bit. Uh, but if you have any comments, stick them down below. Let me know what you think of that one. And hope you can come and join me for the next. So I'm just gonna reach down towards the floor, pushing my heels down to the ground, lifting my butt up high. That's the goal of this one. It's not necessarily just putting your hands down. You've got to lift your butt up to the ceiling. Now try and control the breathing there. Have a nice little 10 minute workout there. <sighs> Cross to the side, stretching out the inner thigh. <sighs> so not too, not too shabby there. Now, some people might think, oh, 10 minutes, that's not much. That's not enough. But if you do it right, it can be for sure. And there's nothing stopping you doing that routine again and trying that little bit harder. Something that you can do, even with your own workouts, is they're time-based. Keep an eye on your reps, especially if you're doing more than one round of a routine. So, you know, if you had more time, you could do that twice. And just keep an eye on the reps. So, so like something like frog hops, count how many reps you do. So then the next round you do it, trying to get even more. I'm just pushing my hips forward here. I'm gonna reach up high. Just trying to squeeze a little bit more out of this stretch. Swing it around the other way. All right, I'm gonna stretch out the quads. So. If you can, hand on a wall if you need to, knees together. It's pretty important that you keep your knees together on this one and then push your hips forward. But show you from the side. So here, knees are together and I'm just pushing those hips forward a little bit. 
I'm trying to pull the heel in towards my butt. And the other one. Keep your balance. You can hand on a wall if you need to. Push your knees together. Shake it out. Now I'm just doing a quick stretch here because I know most people don't want to watch me stretching. So if you feel like you need more of a stretch, then go ahead. If you've got a foam roller, hop on there, even better. But that is it from me. So I hope you enjoyed that. Give me a like, give me some love, and say hello. Bye-bye for now.